how you act in the rehearsal room can affect your future casting, whether it's at the same theatre or a different one. Building a good reputation is vital, whether it's community theatre or professional. Now, if you're new to theatre or you've just picked up some bad habits, these rehearsal tips are for you. Tip one, arrive early. You don't want to be labelled that person that's always late. If you are struggling to get to rehearsal on time, make sure you just chat to your director. Tip two, write down your blocking. No one's memory is that good. I always try to write down my stage directions and then on top of that, any notes that my director gives me about tone of dialogue and things like that. Three, keep to your director's off book date. This is the date that you should have your script down. You can still call for lines, but you shouldn't have a script in hand. Really, this is when the real work starts because you're no longer hindered by a script. Four, learn from those around you. You can learn so much by watching other people. Think about what things they do really well that you would like to include in your practice. My final tip is to take on feedback. That means you need to listen to it acknowledge it, write it down, and then put it into practice. There is nothing worse than a cast member who argues with every piece of feedback they get given. Feedback is to help you. It is not an attack. Your director is not out to get you. Writing down feedback is also important because then you can revisit it. I will often keep looking back at my feedback because sometimes I've forgotten to apply little bits and pieces if I've been given a lot of feedback at once. For example, I wrote all my notes on the left-hand side of my script for Sense and Sensibility, which was super handy. And if you really do disagree with a piece of feedback that you're given, just have a chat to the director later. A public forum's not the place to do it. As I'm editing, I realized I missed the most important rehearsal tip. Don't talk in the rehearsal room. It's so important. It distracts the actors on the stage and the director, and it's just not cool. And those are my five rehearsal room tips. Obviously being kind to those around you is super important, but I would hope that you would know that already. Thanks for joining us again on Music and Theatre Education. And until next time, keep on that theatre adventure.